If you're trying to be more productive, organized and inspired, AI tools might just be the solution you've been looking for. And no, I'm not just talking to those of you who are trying to use AI to get that one essay you've been procrastinating on for five months done in five minutes. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some incredible AI tools that I've been using that can help you become more efficient in all areas of your life. I'm talking business, fitness, finances and overall productivity and organization, you name it. So whether you're having a creative block, midlife crisis or you're just lazy, today's video is gonna be an absolute game changer so you might want to take some notes. Now I've been using AI as a personal assistant for the past two months and when I tell you I can get so much more done with my day because I can take my focus off tasks that can easily be automated by AI and focus on things that require my full attention. My current work rate is the same but my production has basically doubled. I've been able to script more videos, put out more content, respond to emails without even thinking about them too much. I can honestly say I've quadrupled my productivity since I introduced AI into my daily life. So without further ado let's get into one one of the first ways that you can use AI to supercharge your life. And this is by creating your daily schedule. Now, I bet you thought I was gonna say chat GPT, but I actually use Notion AI. Notion is literally my life hub. As you can see, I do everything on here. If you're not too familiar, get familiar, because trust me, it's gonna be a huge game changer for you. Notion was already one of my favorite softwares when it comes to me being more organized, but now that AI has been integrated into it, you genuinely can't get me off it. By the way, this isn't a sponsored video. I actually use Notion every day. So once you've created your Notion account, what you'll do is open a page and I'm going to just go ahead and title it daily schedule if you press the space bar it's going to come up with the AI integration so now you can write anything into it and it's going to produce whatever you ask it to so you're going to let Notion AI know what time you start and end your day what your most important tasks are and roughly how long they're going to take then you can also mention that you want to make some time for a specific thing so for example if you wanted to read for let's say 30 minutes and as you can see it's generated my daily schedule it's created a perfect plan for what I would need to do today and also if you're extra like me what you can do is set alarms for each task so it gives you a sense of urgency so you don't procrastinate in between tasks. This is going to save you that headspace of trying to prioritize tasks and helps you take effective action because AI is going to tell you exactly what to do and when. Now another thing that I've used AI for which is probably one of my favorite things ever is to create a custom meal plan. So I've been on a weight loss journey for the past month and a half. To be very honest with you it was quite difficult for me to find meals that I actually enjoyed eating that also stuck to my calorie intake. So after messing around with ChatGPT for a little bit I found out that you can also use it to create you a custom meal plan and so far every single meal I've made with it I've really enjoyed so for the first step just because AI is very accurate but not 100% yet what I suggest you do is you head to TDEE calculator so this is where you input a few details about yourself like your age your weight and your height and also your activity level so if we scroll down to the section where it says macronutrients we can see that there's maintenance cutting and bulking as an option now maintenance is literally the calories that you need to stay at the current weight cutting is the calories that you would need to obviously lose weight and bulking is to obviously gain weight so you would select accordingly and you will have your exact macros that you'd need for your goals As you can see there's 147 grams of protein 76 grams of fats and 172 grams of carbs as an option for moderate carbs and my cutting calories are 1962 calories per day so into chat gpt we're going to request for a one week meal plan that that has all of the requirements that we got from TDEE calculator. This is where you can get specific and say what type of diet you want and what foods to avoid. As an example, I would put with Italian recipes specifically because I am Italian, I love Italian food, and no cheese because I don't really like dairy. So from here, ChatGPT is gonna start generating the response. And as you can see, it's giving me breakfast, lunch, and dinner that all fits inside of my macros. From here, what you can ask is for the recipes if they're needed. It's giving me the ingredients and the instructions on how to create these meals and what I also did was I asked for a shopping list which was based off all of these meals and the reason why I think this is so amazing is because I've literally had almost no wastage in the house because if you've ever tried dieting or in general you just cook for yourself you notice that there will be a lot of things that just go off in the fridge that you forget about and stuff like that so when you have a shopping list that's literally dedicated to exactly what you're going to be eating for the week you know that you're not spending more than you need to and throwing away food it literally even splits it up into sections so you know exactly what to pick up from each aisle i've literally been using the exact meal plan that chat gpt recommended to the team and i've managed to lose one and a half kg this month so i'm really proud of myself and as a disclaimer as it says below please speak to a nutritionist before you go off and start doing any meal plans and stuff like that 
like that. Obviously ChatGPT is very accurate. But remember that we all have different requirements to make sure that our body is functioning in the most optimal way. But yeah, if this wasn't already amazing enough, you probably guessed it. You can create entire workout plans from ChatGPT. You can literally tell it your weight loss goals. And so far, I'll be very honest, I haven't used my workout plan that ChatGPT made for me because I'm on a very specific one from my personal trainer. But I have looked through the plan that it recommended for me and it all checks out. And if you think about it, people are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for custom meal plans and workout plans from influencers. And obviously not everyone has that type of money to go off and pay hundreds and thousands for custom meal plans. So I think ChatGPT is a great option for those of you who are on a budget. Moving on to something else that I found really, really cool, which is travel planning. So last year I decided that I wanted to travel. I ended up going to Mexico, Italy, Spain. And even though I did get to do a lot of activities, I still felt like I didn't do enough while I was there because I was so disorganized. If only I'd known about AI at that time, right? So we're gonna head back to Notion and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can plan your entire holiday using Notion alone. So as an example, I've typed in create a daily schedule for three days in Tulum that includes seafood restaurants. And as you can see, it's literally created like a morning, afternoon and evening routine for those whole three days that I could do in Mexico. Even if you wanted to do very specific activities like visiting the cenotes, you can easily specify it in Notion AI and it will give you a whole bunch of the top rated cenotes. So you don't just end up clueless on the day you know exactly where you're going and you know that it's gonna be a top rated or popular attraction. I've even used Notion AI to ask like what the best months are to travel and what the best places to eat are there according to a certain budget so you don't end up bankrupting yourself off a holiday because trust me I know what it's like you spend money like it's monopoly money abroad and then you come back home and feel the after effects. Now this next hack is something that I've been absolutely banging on about to all of my friends and family and that's email automation. Now when I tell you I used to spend a solid hour just responding to emails from like all of these companies that want to work with me and my subscribers and stuff like that. So using AI to help you automate emails is going to be a game changer for you. What it's literally going to do is just save some time in your day by making it faster to respond to emails in the first place. Because I know a lot of us find it quite boring to have to manage emails from work and colleagues and school, teachers, all of that stuff. Now don't worry, ChatGPT doesn't automatically send emails off without notifying you and then you end up saying something terrible to someone. It takes up a lot more time than necessary because we have to obviously read the email, think of our responses, proofread it to make sure there's no mistakes. So what I've done to automate the process and make it way faster for me is use Zapier and ChatGPT. Now this literally only takes you about five minutes to set up and it saves you so much time in the long run. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna head to zapier.com and you're gonna connect to your Gmail or whatever it is you use and you're gonna set up in three easy steps. So that's one trigger and two actions. This is what it would look like. So every time you send an email, it sends out a prompt to ChatGPT to start auto-generating a response. Then it gets sent back to your drafts where you can read it, approve it, and then send it off. And while we're on the topic of work, another way that you can use AI is to improve your cover letter and your resume, which over here in the UK, we call a CV. Now, it's been a while since I've had to use a cover letter or a resume, so I don't have one. So what you can do is simply head to Notion AI and ask it to improve your current CV by copying and pasting the text and then add in the prompt to improve this text. Or you can ask it to create you a template from scratch where you'll input your own details. You'll end up getting something along the lines of this. And with the new and improved version of your resume and cover letter, you can head to somewhere like canva.com and use one of the free templates to improve the overall look of these documents. Honestly, if I haven't already convinced you to start using AI, I must be doing something wrong because this is groundbreaking stuff. You can literally even use it to reject or accept job offers in a professional manner. Now, my next tip is learning a hobby or skill. So what I've been using recently is tutorai.me where you can put literally anything you want to learn about in this search bar and it will create into modules that are easy for you to understand. So say for example, you're curious about tattooing, right? You can type it into here and as you can see, it's split up into four modules of what you need to learn in order to have enough knowledge to be a tattoo artist. Now don't get it twisted, you can't just become an expert from doing all of these modules, but you'll get a very good understanding of the next steps that you would need to take and just the basic information that you would need to start any hobby or skill. Now, if I open the modules, like for example, the tattoo equipment section, and if I start my very first lesson, which is introduction to tattoo equipment, it's gonna start generating generating my very first lesson. Now, after it's generated all of this, you have the option of simplifying it, adding examples, taking a quiz, or you can actually ask a question. So for example, if this is just too much text that you genuinely don't understand, 
just click simplify and it's going to regenerate it in a way that is just very very easy for you to understand you can also ask for real life examples if you're still failing to understand and obviously if you need to take a quiz to recap the information or ask a question it will literally give you an answer just like how a teacher would the wonders of ai are literally endless i swear to you i love this site so much but finally let's get into the last tip that i a thousand percent recommend that you try if you want to get your finances in check and increase your overall net worth so i actually picked up this strategy of brandon carter and by the way this works for any and everyone regardless of how much income you have coming in what you're going to do is tell ai your average monthly income and how you'd like to split it using this prompt now this prompt will split your money into four accounts number one is the operations account now this is the basic utilities you need in order to survive so that would be rent food light gas electricity all of that stuff number two is the savings account now this is where 10 percent of your income goes into where you absolutely don't touch it you just add 10 percent of your paycheck into this account every single month without fail and you don't touch it you don't spend it on anything number three is investments now this is 50 percent this would go into to your business and your personal growth like these are these are non-essential items that you wouldn't put under bills and utilities but they help better you as a person so if i'm paying for courses investing in stocks even things like getting my nails hair and lashes done which to most people would be seen as a very unnecessary expense but obviously i'm a content creator and i'm always on camera so it saves me a lot of time to get certain things done and lastly is your baller account at 10 percent where you get to spend it on anything you want whether it's a new pair of trainers a ps5 whatever it is something that you know for a fact you genuinely don't need but it's just for fun so as an example I'm gonna copy this prompt into notion AI and say you're making around let's say three thousand dollars a month and then it's gonna split up your finances for you now I know it might be wild for some of you to think that only 30% will go towards bills and utilities because trust me I know that the cost of living is crazy right now but if you find yourself falling short financially every month when it comes down to splitting your finances like this it means you either need to reduce some of your costs or up your income and I know this sounds harsh but it's really coming from a loving place I was there not too long ago and trust me I know what it's like living paycheck to paycheck and that is not the vibe you're literally just always in a constant state of stress wondering where your next paycheck is going to come from I was literally there not too long ago when my finances dropped after the pandemic because I ended up losing my job and my first resort was to actually try and cancel as many subscriptions as possible that weren't necessary and while that helped it didn't do too much so eventually what I did was just move to a smaller apartment and pay less rent which definitely helped while I built my side hustle in order to be able to up my income now you don't have to go to the extremes like what I did but realistically you have to pick one or the other if you're not happy with your current financial state and I know that money is a touchy subject for a lot of people but you don't have to go to the extremes you literally just have to pick one or the other obviously either up in the income or reducing the costs most of the time the most beneficial thing you can do is up the income which I could also help you out with because I have lots of videos and side hustles but anyway that's a wrap because I don't want to make this video too long drop a comment if you'd like me to make a part two and let me know what your favorite hack was from this video that you think you'll be implementing in your daily life if there is any much love and I'll see you guys in the next one